to the channel and today we're going to be touring this Beverly Hills house and the only reason why I call it that is because it has a quote tennis court in the backyard so I will show you guys how I did that and it's obviously not functional so it's just for play pretend so here's the house it's I went for like the classic black and white farmhouse look with the pretty penthouse um, windows so here it is it just has a protrusion out here on the side and then those little bushes there's a little tree right there and then another bush on the other side and yeah so you can see the driveway just go goes to the side and then there is the garage door there as well so i like that little tree because in the lot it looks small but when you go out to the like when you're in your town view it looks like a bigger tree so I like those little trees so there's the front of the house and I like the little lanterns as well they look really cute and I like the glow that they give the home so here is the garage we're just gonna start off with this and I kept it pretty empty normally I do put the washing machines in here but I made a room on the inside of the house for that so there was just some gardening supplies and the trash bins so then here is the front door and the little entryway. It's kind of a big room, but you can see there is a piano there. So there's a little table with a plant, and then the stairs are right behind the table. And then here is the white baby grand piano, so very fancy. You can even see there's a big chandelier with the little um, fairy lights as well. And then there is a little table there with some trinkets, lots of golds that the house has. And then there's also a little potted plant in the corner. So really pretty and again grand because I do think of this as kind of like a Beverly Hills house. So then here is an archway and it leads you to the living room. So mostly a formal living room because there is no TV. And I love this fireplace and I like how it looks with the wallpaper. I think the white weatherboards suits it really nicely. And then there's just some little like statues and decorations on each side of the fireplace. And then here is this pretty... Um, a gold mirror and I did use a diagonal glitch to make it you know slanted because I like the I like the idea of having a big grand mirror in the living room so then here are the sofas and the pretty coffee table I finally was able to purchase these sofas on the online store so really happy about that I love the chocolate color and the green little pillow on it how it matches the um, the little rugs on the floor then also the coffee table is a nice color and it also matches that wood that's on the fireplace and you can see there was a um, gold painting on the wall so then here going back to the entryway there is another archway and if you go on this side it's the kitchen so the kitchen when I was building it I had lots of struggles because this beautiful island that has a sink in it is so pretty and I love it so much. I got it from an online pack. It's my favorite swatch that they gave us. But they didn't give us um, cabinets that matched it. So that was kind of annoying and kind of didn't make sense. Because like, obviously I'm really picky and I want everything to match perfectly. So I just, I improvised and I used these. But again, they don't really go well together. Just because these look really modern. And then the island is very like traditional looking. But, you know, just have to work with what you have. So, like always, I just pretend that one of those large cabinets is the fridge. So that's why you don't see one. There's the stove, and then, of course, the sink is in the island there. And then here are some wine glasses. And then in this door, they have a nice size pantry. So I just surrounded the entire walls with the little pantry shelves. And, yeah, there's the kitchen. Really nice. And then here is another archway. It leads you into the formal dining area. Well, the only dining area. So I just used this white table and then these brown, well, the dark wood and like kind of white cushiony um, chairs here as dining chairs. So I like the wood and how it's, you know, surrounded all around um, with the wood. And then I finally used the buffet table as a buffet table. And so there's just some food there and then that pretty flower painting and then they just have a nice view of the outside backyard so then here is another archway and it's just a little sitting area and i did use the diagonal glitch to make those chairs 
um, diagonal and then there's just a little table with a light so basically just a pass-through room because you can see there is another archway and that's for the formal dining I mean the formal living room so then this door in the middle is just a little powder room for guests to use so I use the single farmhouse sink and then just a white toilet with the toilet paper holder there so basically the first floor makes a full circle you can basically go all around you can go through the um, living room to the dining area or from the kitchen to the dining area so the floor plan was definitely a surprise so then here is the outside and you can see there's just the two black french doors a patio leading to the little sitting area where you can barbecue and eat outside and yeah really pretty i love those little round bushes i'm rediscovering those <laughs> and then here is the tennis court so you can see I used the green um, patio paving that we got from the school update a while back. So I actually had this idea a long time ago, but I just never built a house that it would make sense in. But finally, I built one since I know Beverly Hills houses, they, have, they usually have a pool and a tennis court. But we don't have, well, I didn't have, I didn't make space for both a pool and a tennis court. So I just decided... Let's just put a tennis court in here and then I use the fencing to mimic the net that goes in between. And yeah, I thought it was just really creative and really cool. They have little palm trees on each side and then the tall bushes for, you know, privacy if there would be homes right next door to it. And yeah, that's the first floor of this grand house. And then I don't know what the dad is doing. He's just walking around everywhere. I had him... Um, to do some barbecue but for some reason he's like walking all over the place but anyways popping up to the landing for the upstairs there's just a little table here the same one that was in the entryway with again just some decorations and then this door leads you to a guest bedroom so i just used this um really fancy king size bed with those brown nightstands and then those lamps match it perfectly because it matches the bedding very well and then there's just another little chair in the corner because I always like to put chairs in bedrooms and then they just have a bookshelf which I actually meant to change that out for a dresser because then the guests would not have a place to put their clothes and then there's just some decorations on top so I will be switching that out soon so that's the little guest bedroom there's actually two so yeah, these double doors lead you to the master bedroom and it's actually a really large room but I like the way it came out and like I like all the colors in it. So here you can see I used the little olive king size bed, really pretty. I also got that one from an online pack and then the gray nightstands with those tan lamps on top of each one. They have a potted plant in the corner, a fireplace, really pretty with the golds. And then they have the green chairs here just as a little lounge area and then that classic that table in the side is like an older one but it matched it really well because there's lots of greens in the room they have a corner tv a bookshelf with some more decorations and then this door leads you onto their ensuite so for the ensuite and basically all the restrooms for the upstairs i use this big um gray vanity really pretty and then the same villa shower in all of the restrooms and then just the white toilet and the toilet paper holder so then there's another archway and this one's just for an l-shaped room again a hallway just leading to all the restrooms well the restroom and the bedrooms so then this door leads you to the other um, guest bedroom so i use the little burgundy and gold um, king size bed the brown nightstands the tan lamps and then the matching that's the gesture that i meant to put in the other guest bedroom there's just some pretty decorations and then that pretty painting above it and then this um guest bedroom has its own ensuite so that's a plus about that one and it basically looked the same as the ensuite for the master bedroom and then this little room is where the laundry stuff is at so the washing and drying machine then just a little cabinet for some extra storage and then this door is for the family restroom so the guest bedroom and their daughter's room they would use this one so again it's the same as the one that we just saw 
And the last door is for their daughter's restroom. I mean, <laughs> their daughter's bedroom. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, this is her bedroom. I used lots of pinks in it because one of your, that's one of my favorite colors. And I used one of these new pendants. Really pretty. It has the rose gold and then the little globe in the middle. And then, so that's her bed. And then she has a little bookshelf here, the potted plant, this really modern fireplace. And then her dresser, really cute. It matches her nightstands. And then just a little fluffy rug on the floor and a pink and gold chair. And she gets a nice view of the outdoor patio area and the tennis court. So that is it for this grand Beverly Hills house. It is four bedrooms and two, no, three and a half bathrooms. So yeah, I just canceled his action because like I said, he was just walking around everywhere. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.